Uh, another question. I want to grow rocket in bed, 75 centimeters, how to manage weeds. Thank you. I mean, just stale seed bed. Uh, we're talking about that and from the field, uh, did that go up today? I believe it did. Um, let's just check. Did I put that up? Spreading compost. Cause we just laid our tarps down. So stale seed bedding, number one, and then you could do flame weeding, um, you know, with crops like arugula. Yeah. So that's vlog nine at from the field. Uh, we start to talk about that, but you know, with arugula, a densely planted green like that, you don't want to be managing weeds through cultivation. You know, sometimes you have to, and then you're going to, you might come in with a, um, a tine rake and do something initial, uh, after, you know, maybe first true leaves come up on the crop, you come in with a tine rake, rake over that bed that does a nice, nice, uh, um, cultivation on the soil. And you do pre-emergent weeding there, right? So you, you, you're going in and just cultivating that soil in between your little rows with a tine rake, which gets everything, but it doesn't knock your crop down. Um, and then you might come and do it again before the foliage gets to the point where it's covering the soil. And at that point, you're fairly safe. If, if, if your crop can get that ahead of your weeds, then weeds won't be a huge issue for you. Um, and if they become so, like let's say your arugula is, You've done some sort of, uh, you did some stale seed bedding, which is your number one plan of, of attack. So either tarping and flame weeding uh, or both. I do both sometimes. Um, and then you plant your crop. You get your cotyledons that pop up first. Then your true leaves come up. Once that crop looks fairly stable, you get your tine rake. So if you don't know what a tine rake is, T-I-N-E rake. It's a rake with a bunch of teeth and you just rake it right across the bed that scratches up all the loose soil. And that will, you, you do that even if you don't see weeds, because that will set back any weed seeds that were germinating. And then that crop might grow another week or so. And if you're going to bring that time rake, rake in again, you got to make sure you do it before those leaves on the arugula get too long. Cause if they get too long, then you're going you're gonna to scratch up your crop when you come in at the time rake. But if you can hit it again, by the time that crop gets a few inches tall, if any weeds germinate in there, you can let them grow because that crop will be harvested and out of the ground before those weeds are a problem anyways. So that's my strategy. And that goes the same for pretty much any of these, um, any of these uh, leafy green, baby root vegetables, uh, any crops like that, any direct sown crops, that would be my exact strategy. I wouldn't do that for Salanova. I would just use a different cultivation tool to go in between the rows, like a stirrup hoe or a collinear hoe or a wire weeder. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the basic strategy there.